Welcome everybody to NorCal Sports TV. Gilbert Trevorrow here. And tonight's matchup, we have the West Hill Limor Eagles coming to town against the San Jose City Jaguars. San Jose 21-7 and, and the West Hill Limor Eagles 18-10. and 10. As we get ready for this matchup, both lineups being announced right now for the home team, San Jose. We have him on the screen. Your starting five. Head coach, Devin I in his fourth season. San Jose looking to defend home court tonight against the Eagles as the Eagles come off a win against San Joaquin Delta, 89-83. And they are hot, 1-0 in the playoffs. Looking to make a statement today against the Jaguars. And this is, San Jose, this is San Jose's first game of the playoffs. They had a bye week. They finished number four in the bracket. So they got to rest for week one. And now they are here at home getting ready to defend home court. And the starting five for the Eagles is going to be number one, Taryn Mosley. Number two, Keyshawn Basil. Number five, Marquis Screen. Number 23, James Nichols. And number 24, Trades Booker Lowry. Head coach for the West Hills team is, jo is Joven Joe. As we get ready for tip-off, it's going to be number one, Malcolm Stedman, jumping against number 24, Booker Lowry. Round two of the 3C two-way NorCal tournament. And we are off. Eagles win the tip. And it'll be number two, Basil. Swinging it around, able to find Mosley. Eagles want to start off strong and denied. Sams Hoy with the rejection. And now San Jose looking to capitalize on the block. Weiser to Stedman, backs it out for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Krilly. It's good. San Jose strikes first. And now the Eagles. Basil. To Mosley. Looking at direct traffic. With the ball in his hand. Finds Lowry. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be San Jose ball. And we have a substitution. Early in the game. Lowry will take a seat, and it'll be number 10, Ryan Chavez, in the game. Harper to inbound. San Jose taking it up the court. Weiser finds Hoy, double teamed. Loses the ball, and it finds the hands of Weiser. Ten to shoot now for San Jose. Finds Krilly. Stedman in the middle and makes the bucket. San Jose finding the rhythm early. And this Lemore team still looking to score. Green to Mosley and he misses wide. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Eagle ball, but turns out there's going to be a foul. Nope, they're going to no nope, correct the shot clock. That's what it is. Correction on the shot clock. 13 seconds on the shot clock. No, 12 seconds on the shot clock. 12 seconds to shoot for the Eagles. Ball's inbounded. Goes up and is fouled. 
James Nichols will take a trip to the free throw line. And they're going to call that one on number 14, Davis Crilly. See here on the replay, Crilly just going at him. Strong defense. Just a little too much contact. And so two shots. Misses the first one short. Left that one short off the fingertips. One more shot. And 0 for 2. San Jose almost coming up with the rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be eagle ball. Seal on the San Jose side of the court. So with a fresh shot clock. 30 seconds. All the time in the world. Green. Now Chavez. Able to find Basil. Throws up a three. No good. And the putback goes by Mosley. Able to elevate. To get the finish. And now Weiser with the ball. And a tip pass. Able to find the hands of Sams Hoy. Krilly. Back to Hoy. San Jose trying to limit the turnovers. As Hoy goes up, misses a shot. And a offensive rebound by Harper as the ball was left on the ground. Stedman able to find Hoy under the basket. Nice cut and finish. Chavez trying to answer. And the poke by Malcolm Stedman. Ball goes out of bounds. Nice defensive play by the Jaguars. You can see here the cut pass under the hoop and the finish by Isaiah Soms Hoy. 6 2. And it'll be Basil to inbound. Mosley for three. It's good. First three ball from Lemore. And now a error on the shot clock. So Jaguars will inbound it from the sideline. 27 seconds on the shot clock. See the three ball right there from Kishan Basil. And a substitution being made as Tarek Weiser takes a seat and it'll be Owen Brown checking into the game. Boy, double teamed. Trying to get it across midcourt and they do in time but a turnover. Eagles. And a travel violation called on number 25. No, check that, number 23, James Nichols. See here, fell with the ball. Lost his pivot foot, so he can call it a travel any day of the week. Malcolm Stedman. San Jose looking to extend this one-point lead. Brown with the ball. Guarded by Mosley. Ten seconds to shoot. And a foul called on Taryn Mosley. First foul for him. There's got in the way of Owen Brown. So Cameron Bailey coming into the game for Malcolm Stedman. Soms Hoy will inbound it from the sideline for the Jaguars. And turns it over. Basil going the other way. And the putback dunk by Booker Lowry. Giving Lee Moore their first lead of the game by one. Double team on Owen Brown. Able to get it out safely from his side of the court. Did not want to get the backcourt violation. 
And Brown throwing up a shot. Bounces, no good. Rebounded by the Eagles, and it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be a tie-up in favor of San Jose. Curly not afraid to get dirty. See here the miss on the initial shot and the putback dunk by Booker Lowry trying to make a statement here in this game. Brown to inbound and finds Harper for the easy pass and make. Jaguars retake the lead by one. Mosley. Now Green. Three's up. No good. Came up short. Harper with the rebound. Able to find Davis Crilly. Throws up a shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Brown. Guarded by Lowry. Defense chance coming from the Eagle bench. Soms Hoy can't connect. Mosley pushing the court for the Eagles. It would have find Basil. Brown was not letting them get around, and that was actually Marquise Green who was trying to go to work around Owen Brown and gets fouled, so he'll take a trip to the free throw line. See here. Just a lot of contact between the two. Marquise Green shooting 52% from the free throw line. Makes the first one. And Jurian Sparks will come into the game for Cameron Bailey. One shot for number five. And makes both of them two for two. So the Jaguars taking it up the court. Five minutes gone in this game. Pretty close matchup as Krilly misses a shot right there. Been kind of back and forth in the early on stages. See if this game continues to be like this. A one point deficit or difference. Or can one of the teams go on a run as Nichols misses shot there. Soms Hoy finds Brown for three. No good. Rebounded. Now Lowry finds give and go and the make is good. So nice give and go between Moses and Lowry. Largest lead for the Eagles so far as Crilly cannot make the shot there. Lowry drawing the contact and he is fouled so he'll take a trip to the free throw line as Owen Brown trying to make his case to the referee. Referee was not having it. See there, Brown did not have his feet planted or anything. So Lowry taking a trip to the free throw line. Makes the first. And Wiser will come back in for Soms Hoy. And Chavez will check back in as well for the Eagles. Ryan. Rebound hard, Ryan. Rebound hard, Ryan. 
Now Malcolm Stedman will also come in for the Jaguars. He takes Owen, Owen Brown's place on the court. And two for two from the line that time. Eagles still with the pressure. And the rejection, and they're going to call that one a goaltend. On marquee screen, count the bucket. Yep, touch the backboard right after the block. So Basil, take it up the court for the Eagles, up by three. Almost halfway through the first quarter, or the first half, you could say. Basil, guarded by Sparks, throws up a jumper, and it's good. Laces that one. Five point lead now for the Eagles. Stedman finds Krilly, and he is fouled. But they're not going to count that one. They're going to call the foul before the basket. So inbound it under the hoop. Crilly gets the ball poked out of his hands. That'll stay on that side of the court. San Jose maintaining possession. The substitution being made. Nichols coming back into the game for Chavez. Weiser to Crilly. Find Sparks for three. It's good. Jerry and Sparks laces one from deep. Brings the Jags within two. Nichols. Little one-touch passes from the Eagles. Not wanting to hold on to the ball for long. Less than 10 to shoot. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay Eagles possession. Timeout, Lamore. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. You see here the three ball from Jury and Sparks. We'll be right back on NCS TV. Bay Area is our home, and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. Twelve oh five left on the clock in the first half here between the Eagles and the Jaguars in the second round of the 3C 2A NorCal tournament. And a error on the shot clock. It's supposed to be two seconds. So the Eagles will have two seconds to get the ball off. It'll be Basil to inbound. And Nichols turns it over. Stedman to Weiser. Throws up a shot. It's good! For three! Jaguars, one point lead. Mosley. Trying to go at Harper. Weiser. Right there for the backup, and a three ball. No good, missed everything. Marquis Green, no bueno. You can see here the push by the Jaguars. He said, let me spot up this one. Fuck. 
And a couple of substitutions being made. Soms Hoy comes back out onto the court and Sinead Nwankwu making his first minutes on the court. Soms Hoy backs it out. Harper to Hoy. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay. Jaguar possession. 12 seconds to shoot. Isaiah Soms Hoy everywhere. With or without the ball. Always moving. Weiser. To Stedman. Hoy. Five to shoot. Drives in. Backs it out for three. It's good at the buzzer. Tarek Weiser splashing it home. Lowry. Eagles looking to respond. And an offensive foul. They're going to call that one on number five, Marquise Green. Three ball right here to beat the buzzer. Tarek Weiser. Now Soms Hoy. Bringing it up the court. Double teamed. And a travel violation called. On Soms Hoy. Didn't like the call. But the referee. Right there next to him. Closest person to him. Besides the guys defending him. Now Mosley. Finds Basil. Moving the ball around. Now Chavez. Good poke. And they're going to say it was a tip. And a foul called. Coach I not happy with that one. He thought the ball went off the thigh of an Eagle player and not tipped by the hands of Jacob Harper. Oh. Let's see here in slow-mo we can get it. Oh yeah, it went off the knee. The referee said it went off the fingertips of Jacob Harper. And the first free throw is good for Lowry. And two for two from the line. So now, two point difference for the Jaguars. And Wonkwu. And ball gets batted out of bounds. It'll stay Jaguar ball. Halfway through this first half, it's been a pretty good matchup so far between the number four ranked Jaguars and the number 13th ranked Eagles. And nice jumper by Jacob Harper. Number four ranked, number four making the shot. Now the Eagles trying to make a stretch and pass the ball before he traveled it. No good on the three. Offensive rebound. And they're going to call that one an offensive foul over the back. And Booker Lowry reaching over. Nice little fadeaway jumper by Jacob Harper. Soms Hoy to Harper. Gets a screen by Nwankwu. Finds Calhoun. And the reverse layup by King Calhoun. His first points in style. And a foul called. James Nichols was the one who was going up for the shot. Calhoun 
elevates. Then it's going to be no trip to the free throw line. Foul happened before the shot. And the wiser will come back in for Jacob Harper. It's going to be Bezer inbound for the Eagles. To Mosley. Back to Basil. Throws up a three, and it's good. Nice shot by Keyshawn Basil. Not letting the Jaguars go on a run as Calhoun missed that three right there. Basil to Lowry. Now Green trying to make a move on Nwankwu. And the pass gets turned over. Jaguars going the other way. It's a foul call to number five, Marquise Green. His second foul of the game as Davis Crilly checks in for Chinedu and Wonkwu. And Marquise Green will take a seat. Number 22, Sean Packard comes into the game for the Eagles. And we have a full timeout from the Eagles. So we will take a break here on NorCal Sports TV. 23-20 is the score. Jaguars up by three. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path. One shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. So this is the bracket for the 3C2A men's basketball NorCal Regionals. As you see here on the bottom left, San Jose currently against West Hills Lemoore. The winner of this will go on against whoever wins against Yuba and Skyline. And the winner from that will advance to the state finals. So stay tuned after this matchup to see which team will it be the Eagles or the Jaguars. Wiser. Really, and the easy find. Stedman with the goggles. Mosley. Now Basil. Throws up a three. No good. Rebounded by Weiser. San Jose pushing the court. Stedman drawing the contact. He is fouled. So it's going to be Malcolm Stedman taking a trip to the free throw line. We're going to call the foul on number two, Keyshawn Basil. Two shots for number one. And he makes the first. Malcolm Stedman shooting 65% from the free throw line this season. So one more shot for number one. Oh, 
And two for two from the line that time. Soms Hoy and Owen Brown checking back into the game. King Calhoun and Apollo Eugene will take a seat. Eagles going up the court. Green with the ball. Now Chavez. Trying to move around Owen Brown and Nichols gets the shot up on the mismatch. And Sedman and Brown giving the give and go passes in the backcourt. Trying to avoid the double team that the Eagles have been doing all night. Brown to Hoy. Blows by Lowry. And gets the bucket to go. The speed on Soms Hoy. Now Nichols, jumper. It's good. Nice jump shot from James Nichols. Four points for him so far. And a turnover. Marquise Green capitalizing on the mistake. Stedman. San Jose able to move the ball around. Crilly. Open for three. No good. Rebounded by Green. And a foul. They're going to call that one on number one, Malcolm Stedman. His first foul of the game. So the Eagles will inbound it from the sideline. Green inbounds it to Mosley. Down by three. Mosley guarded by Brown on the mismatch. Misses and the second effort no good. San Jose. Taking it the other way. Weiser gets it to Brown. Almost gets it stolen. Throws up a shot and no good. Comes up short. It looked like it was line drive. Brown, no good on his shot. Nichols gets his pocket picked by Weiser. And it'll stay Eagle ball. Nice defensive play by Tark Weiser. One-on-one -on -one situation. Was not afraid to get his hands dirty. Basil to inbound it. So it's actually going to, no, check that. It's going to be Marquez Green who's going to inbound it for the Eagles. Wet spot on the floor. Got to clean it. Don't want anybody tripping and falling. Five oh nine on the clock. Eagles down by three. Twenty four on the shot clock. Green inbounds it to Nichols, and it's going to be free throws. A foul called on Davis Crilly. So a trip to the line for James Nichols. It's going to be one shot plus the bonus. If he makes the first shot, gets another attempt. If he doesn't, then play ball. And he makes the first. Crilly will take a seat. Sinead Wonkwo coming into the game. Keep working, 
And the miss, one for two from the line. Soms Hoy will take it the other way for the Jags. Stedman tips the ball. Hoy able to save it. Harper to Stedman. Throws up a three. It's good. Stare down at the Eagle bench. Malcolm Stedman. Now Chavez to Mosley. Finds Green. Basil trying to work around Hoy. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebounded by the Jags. Less than five minutes to go in the first half. Hoy to Wonkwu. Could not finish. Eagles going the other way. Mosley. And the foul called. Nichols try to go up. And Isaiah Samtoy made him halfway. So two shots for James Nichols, who has five points so far tonight. Currently no fouls. And he missed everything. They call that an air ball where we're from. Air balls all through the stadium or arena. We're gonna act like that one didn't happen and free, th free throw number two. And he misses both. Over two that time from the line. Wiser. Ball gets tipped out of bounds by Basil. San Jose will maintain possession. Hoy. Gets a screen. Trying to blow by Mosley, and he does with the finish at the rim. And a timeout for San Jose. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. You can see here, Sams Hoy with the speed. Speed kills. Be back in 30 seconds. Here on NorCal Sports TV, 34-27 is the score. Jaguars currently on a run. Eagles looking to find the stop. Mosley, double team, loses the ball. Harper gets fouled by Booker Lowry. Oh no, check that, they're gonna call the foul number one, Taryn Mosley. So it'll be Jacob Harper shooting one plus the bonus. And he makes the first, then the Bennett. Splash. And two for two from the line for number four. Now Mosley for the Eagles, almost loses the ball again. Green goes up, cannot get the shot to go. And the rebound goes to the Jaguars. Tip pass, goes out of bounds. 
It'll be San Jose ball. Twenty nine seconds on the sh no twenty seven seconds on the shot clock. Soms Hoy bringing it up the court for San Jose. Guarded by Nichols and gets fouled. I'm going to call the foul at number three, Marquise Green. Boy, trying to go up and was met by three Eagles at the rim. So Hoy will shoot two at the charity stripe. Boom. Swatted. And he misses the first. So one more shot to go for number 10. As Cameron Bailey gets ready to check in for the Jaguars. Take a seat at the scorer's table. Mosley with the ball. Nichols. Eagles trying to move the ball around. 10 to shoot. Basil finds Mosley. Five to shoot. Shots up. No good. Rebounded by Awankwu. Stedman up the court for the Jags. Finds Awankwu. And easy finish for Tarek Weiser. The dish for the finish. Mosley to Basil. And offensive foul. Call the charge on Keyshawn Basil. It's going to be the third foul on number two, Keyshawn Basil. Cameron Bailey coming into the game for Nwankwo. Weiser trying to get out of the double team. Give and go passes. Hoy. Stedman finds Bailey. Turn around. Almost. Ball goes out of bounds. Substitutions coming out onto the court. As Chavez will come in for Lamore. And it'll be Basil who takes a seat with three fouls. Chavez to Mosley. Give and go. And the poke. Ball's out of bounds. It'll stay eagle possession. Fifteen to shoot for the Eagles. Mosley guarded by Weiser, and a foul. Coach I does not like the call. Thought Mosley just bumped into Weiser and lost the ball, but currently was not the case. As Bailey takes a seat, Jurian Sparks comes into the game. San Jose with their largest lead, 10 points. Well, it was 11, but now it's 10. A minute and a half left to go in the first half. Two for two from the line for Taryn Mosley. Four points for him 
so far in this game. Jacob Harper with the ball for San Jose. Trying to get around Booker and a foul. It's gonna be called on Booker Lowry. Didn't look like there was much there, but referee calls a foul. So Harper will take a trip to the free throw line to shoot two. Knocks down the first with ease. And two for two. Perfect from the line. Now Chavez finds Beji. Beji throws up a shot. And rebounded by the Eagles. Lowry goes up and he makes the bucket. So less than a minute in the first half. Weiser finds Sparks. Goes up, and he gets the finish. Count it. Taking a trip to the free throw line to try to make it a three-point play. See there, Jurian had Stedman all alone in the corner. Decided to take it himself. So now Jerry and Sparks, one shot. And no good. Mosley going up. And no good. He's fouled. It's going to be called on Isaiah Sams Hoy. Second foul for him. So two shots for Taryn Mosley. Makes the first. As Weiser comes in for King Calhoun. As well as Owen Brown for Jurian Sparks. And misses a second. Weiser taking it up the court. Stedman goes up and he is fouled. And they're going to call that foul on number 24, Trey Booker Lowry. His third foul of the game. See, Stedman went up and Mosley right behind too, try to block him from the back. Stedman shooting two at the line. So with 17 seconds left, Jaguars up by 10. Lamore need to figure some things out at the half. And the first shot is a no-go for Stedman. Owen Brown will take a seat as well as Isaiah Soms Hoy, Sparks, and King Calhoun check in for San Jose. And Shenandoah Wonkwo will come in 
for Jacob Harper. And one for two. Julius Wilson will come in for Tarek Weiser. Ryan, go get the ball, Ryan. 17 seconds left. Lamore's going to want to get the last shot of the half. And they almost throw the ball away. Ball goes out of bounds. 10.2. So it'll be Lamore to inbound. 10 seconds on the clock. And a timeout by the Eagles. It's gonna be a Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Eleven point lead for the Jaguars. 10.2 seconds left on the clock. And it'll be Lamore to inbound it here. Mosley turns the ball over. Sparks goes up and is fouled. So with three seconds left, Jurian Sparks taking a trip to the free throw line. Nice deflection by King Calhoun and Mosley with a swat. So Jurian taking a trip to the charity stripe. Two shots. Five points for him tonight. And he makes the first. Yeah, Paul Eugene will come in and Nwankwu will take a seat. So shot number two coming up for number 11. And two for two, perfect from the line. Three seconds. Mosley throws one up. And no good. Try to beat the buzzer, rimmed out. And that's gonna do it for the first half. San Jose 45, Lamore 32. And we will be back here after halftime, NorCal Sports TV. have more than just a destination in mind. When you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized, high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. 
Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> We have more than just a destination in mind. 
when you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized, high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs>
we have more than just a destination in mind. When you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized, high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> than one path to a successful future. And they're all in one spot at San Jose City College. Plus, there are ways to do it with no tuition or fees. Discover your spot today at San Jose City College. More than one path to a successful future. And they're all in one spot at San Jose City All right, and we are back here on NorCal Sports TV getting ready for the second half of this match between the West Hills Lemoore Eagles and the San Jose City Jaguars. Second round of the 3C2 way NorCal tournament. And currently the Jaguars have gone on a run against the Eagles all throughout the first half. Well, the majority of it, it was a pretty close matchup. Five points were the most any team could lead by. But now the Jaguars have kind of blown the door open so let's see if they can keep the lead or will the Eagles make a comeback it starts all right now with Basil swings it out Lowry guarded by Harper able to find Nichols and denied he is fouled call that one on Davis Crilly no, no. check that and call that one on Malcolm Stedman, actually. Try to block him from the back. Did not work that time. So two free throws for Marquez Green. And he misses the first. One more to go for number five. And over two after all the silence. Som Toy drives in and denied is fouled. See here driving into the paint, met by Booker Lowry. Gets fouled. That's a fourth foul on Lowry. And 
four players on the Eagle team with more than two fouls. Got three players on the court with three fouls and one player, Booker Lowry, with four fouls. And second shot is good from Isaiah Soms Hoy. Basil to Green. Chavez swings it around. Basil trying to go around Samtoy, gets a shot up, and it's good. Now the Jaguars going the other way, Krilly. Boy. Now Harper, bounce pass, and a give and go. So Green inbounding it to Basil. You see right there, Stedman on the finish. Basil. And the whistle is blown. Gonna call a foul on number three, Tarek Weiser. Second foul for him, eight points on the night. Now Nichols. And fouled as he tried to go up. We're gonna call that one on Davis Crilly, his third foul. So in the first half, Lamore was able to accumulate 13 total fouls. So trying to limit that here in the in the second half. Trying to get back into this game. As Nichols knocks down that free throw. And Wonkwo coming in, and it'll be Davis Curley who takes a seat. So free throw number two from James Nichols. No good, missed that one left. And Basil with the steal. And Green cannot capitalize on the turnover. Harper. Gets it to Hoy, pushing the other way, and turns it right back over. Nichols with the interception. Finds Mosley, and the finish. Eagles looking to turn things around. Down by 12. Weiser finds Harper to Stedman. Ten to shoot now for San Jose. Harper throws up a three. No good. Offensive rebound. And it's stolen again by Basil. Second steal for him in the second half. Ball gets bounced and turned over. Tip pass by Soms Hoy. Falls into the hands of Stedman. Nice catch by Weiser. Ball gets kicked out of bounds by Marquez Green. Maintain San Jose possession so now Harper with the ball finds Weiser guarded by Chavez trying to go around him finds Hoy gets the finish Beautiful passes by San Jose. Basil, guarded by Stedman. Finds Mosley. Now to Nichols. Throws up a three. 
and it's good. Got the lucky bounce. Tarek Weiser. Now Harper finds Weiser, takes a shot to Harper. 10 to shoot for San Jose. Now Weiser, five to shoot, loses the ball. Needs to throw one up, and then Wonkwo loses the ball, goes out of bounds, turnover. And Lamore will take it over. Basil. Mosley trying to direct traffic here. Finds Green. Trying to go to work on Stedman and a travel violation. Took an extra step. See here, just drag the pivot foot. Owen Brown comes in for Tarek Weiser. It'll be Jury and Sparks in for Isaiah Soms Hoy. Brown to Harper. Give and go passes. And the bounce pass to him. Wonkwo backs it out. Stedman for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Jury in. Second and third chance efforts were no good. Stedman goes up. No good. Offensive rebound and Wonkwo. And he falls to the floor. Hard foul on Sinead and Wonkwo. They're on the replay. Referees having a chat. And Wonkwo just trying to go up for the rebound and just thrown to the floor by Marquez Green. Crowd not liking that one. See what the referee says. Foul is on number five, Marquez Green. going to be a technical foul. So Sinead and Wonkwo. And he misses the technical free throw. And he misses both. Unlucky at that time from the free throw line. So San Jose will maintain possession. Referee having a talk amongst players. It'll be Owen Brown to inbound it. And a foul call. I'm gonna call that one on number two. Keyshawn Basil. Fourth foul for him. And Wonkwo couldn't finish under the bucket. Lowry finds Mosley, loses the ball. San Jose, Owen Brown. Stedman to Brown. Three. 
so they're going to halt the play as the shot clock was not in sync with the game. 22 seconds put on the shot clock, and now the game is a go. Brown to Stedman. Double team by Lamore. And a foul. And they're going to call that one on Kashan Bazile. So fourth foul for Bazile. See here. Try to poke the ball out of his hands. And took a thigh to the face. Owen Brown's thigh. So while we're at that, you can see here on the bracket that we have on the screen for the 3C2A Men's Basketball NorCal Regionals. San Jose at the bottom left of the screen. Currently going up against West Hills Lemoore. And the winner of this game will take on whoever wins against Yuba and Skyline. And then the winner from that will advance to the state tournament held at the West Hills College Lemoore. San Jose currently up by 11 points. For your spot. At San Jose City College, you can graduate and transfer in just two years. Plus, there are ways to do it with no tuition or fees. Get on your path. Unleash your brilliance and discover your spot at San Jose City College. All right, and back from the quick timeout. Bazile will be okay as he walked off the court on his own. Now play ball. Harper inbounds it to Brown. Finds Sparks. Stedman goes up, cannot finish, gets his own miss, and the second chance as for is a go. Now Lowry. Jaguars up by 13. Mosley. Trying to go at the rim. And no good on the shot. Harper. Going the other way for San Jose. Now Jurian. Back to Brown. Guarded by Chavez. Finds Harper. San Jose moving the ball around. And Wonkwo goes up and the finish. Jump shot up. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Jaguar ball. As number three. Marquise Green checks into the game for 22, Sean Packard. Owen Brown will take it up the court for the Jags. Finds the bounce pass to Stedman. Jurian to Brown. Throws up a three, no good. Rebounded by Mosley. Lamore. And a foul called on Sinead Wonkwo as he fouls Marquise Green. And Wonkwo try to go for the chase down block. He's got there a second too late. Now Marquise Green taking a trip to the free throw line, shooting two. And he makes the first. One more to go. And he misses that time. And Wonkwo coming down with the miss. Sparks. 
able to find Stedman trying to calm down the tempo here. Needing all the Jaguar players front and center. They're gonna run a play here. And a block by Green. And an offensive foul. Second time Harper puts his body in the way. See that one denied. Goodwin Dixon coming into the game for Sinead Wonkwo. His first minutes of the game. It'll be Harper to inbound for San Jose. Brown to Weiser. And Nichols with the jam. And the statement right there is actually Booker Lowry with the slam dunk. He's going to give the little life to the Lamore crowd and a hard fall right there by Ter Terran Mosley. Gets up though, so glad he's okay. See right here, Booker Lowry trying to wake up the Eagle crowd. And it looked like Harper was just a little bit too late trying to get the pass to Jerry and Sparks. Sparks was open two seconds earlier, but able to take a trip to the free throw line. Doesn't make the first. So one more shot for Jerry and Sparks. Seven points tonight for him. Comes up short, over two. Lowry loses the ball. Stolen by Owen Brown. Then stolen right back. And the foul. Count it. Take it to the free throw line. Booker Lowry to attempt the three-point play. So if he makes this free throw, brings him under 10 points, Crilly coming into the game for Goodwin Dixon. Fourteen points tonight for Booker Lowry. Make it fifteen. So that's four fouls. Got to be careful with that. He is indeed in foul trouble. Sams Hoy. Now to Brown. Give and go passes. Weiser to Crilly, and the finish off the glass. The dish and the finish all night long. Now Green, Lowry, spots up for three, no good. Rebounded by Weiser. Now San Jose in numbers. Pass too hard to Harper. Did not need to be a bullet pass to find the hands of Jacob Harper. See here, Curly just turned around and threw up the shot. And a foul. They're going to call that one on Isaiah Soms Hoy. His third foul of the game. Ten points for him tonight. So the Eagles will inbound it from the sideline. 
halfway to go in the second half. Marquis Green finds Mosley. And a not stolen pass, but a, you know, I guess you could say tip pass. Booker Lowry just could not hold on to it, and it popped out of his fingers into the hands of Sams Hoy. San Jose looking to capitalize on the mistake. Three ball, and it's good. Harper from deep. Eagles answer right back. Marquise Green with that one. Was not going to be denied. Double team. Soms Hoy almost loses the ball. Now Weiser. Tend to shoot for the Jags. Crilly. Five to shoot. Brown goes up, no good, and Booker Lowry goes the other way for the Eagles. Turns it over, Crilly comes up with it. The 12 point lead for San Jose. Tarek Weiser with the ball, finds Crilly, the give and go pass. Blows by Booker Lowry. And a timeout by Lamore. Full timeout. 9.34 on the clock. You can see here just the chemistry building and Wiser blowing by the defense. We'll be back on NCS TV. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path. One shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. And back from the timeout here, 9.35 on the clock. As you see here, the three ball from Jacob Harper swishing it home. And it'll be Marquez Green inbound it. Lamore trying to make the comeback. Mosley. And they lose the ball. Not the way to start. Nichols fumbles it. Owen Brown. Finds Krilly. Krilly back to Brown. Weiser for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Harper. Harper finds Soms Hoy. Harper, turnaround jumper, gets blocked. Second chance effort denied. And it's going to be a one on one call on the floor. They're going to call the foul on Davis Crilly. So fourth foul for Davis Crilly as Green will take a trip to the free throw line. Malcolm Stedman coming in for Davis Crilly who will sit with four fouls. 
as they are going to need him down the stretch in these last eight and a half minutes. Green makes the first. So one more shot to go for Marquez Green. Four fouls tonight for him as well. Three points. Make it four. Brown to Soms Hoy. Now to Stedman. Moving the ball around. Trying to find somebody to pass it to. Malcolm Stedman finds Weiser. Tend to shoot for the Jags. Weiser to Harper. Has Mosley in his face. Drives in and is denied. With one second on the shot clock. Taryn Mosley says not today. Tracked him down all the way. So San Jose has one second. And they get it off. No good. Stedman just missed the shot. And a foul called on Owen Brown. Marquis Green taking a trip to the free throw line. So third foul for Owen Brown. Still has not scored any points in this game. So one plus the bonus for Marquis Green as he misses it and San Jose comes up with the rebound. Weiser to Harper. Swinging it around. Stedman. Now Harper. Needs to get a shot off. Stedman. Soms Hoy with the shot. No good. And the rebound falls into the hands of Marquise Green. And the finish. On the other end by James Nichols. Ten point lead for the Jaguars. The Eagles are trying to close in on it. Soms Hoy. To Brown. Back to Hoy. Goes up. And he is fouled. They're going to call that one on James Nichols his third foul Soms Hoy taking a trip to the free throw line to try to extend the double digit lead So two shots for number 10, Isaiah Soms Hoy. 10 points tonight for him. And he makes the first. And misses a second. Offensive rebound. Harper had a chance to shoot a three. Decided to hold it. Hoy guarded by Nichols. Finds Harper. And a timeout called by San Jose before the over and back. And it's going to be a full timeout. So you see here, Soms Hoy needed to get the ball out of his hands. And they called the timeout in midair. So we'll take a break. Be right back on NCS TV.
coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. And back from the timeout here on NorCal Sports TV. 6.33 left to go between the Jaguars and the Eagles in the second round of the 3C2A NorCal Tournament here at San Jose City College. Jaguars defending home turf. Wiser with the ball. If you didn't see it before the break, Jacob Harper called the timeout in midair to avoid the over the back foul or a violation. Five seconds to shoot. Sparks drives up. And no good. It's going to be a blocking foul before the shot. They're going to call it on number three, Marquise Green. Trying to drive into the paint. So two shots for number 11, Jerry and Sparks. And no good, so it's actually one plus the bonus. So he missed the first. And stolen by Malcolm Stedman. Picked his pocket. And he said it, and he said, I needed that. And the ball goes the other way. Turnover, San Jose. Giving it right back to Lamore. So Green inbounds it to Mosley with six minutes left on the clock. Mosley trying to go around Sparks. And it is not going to count. A travel violation called on Taryn Mosley. Took too many steps. As Jerry and Sparks will take a seat and Julius Wilson will come out, out onto the court. Weiser to Harper. And they avoid the 10 second violation. Weiser almost loses the ball, able to get it back. Trying to go around Mosley, and he is fouled. So four fouls for number one, Taryn Mosley. Third is one of the three players on the court right now with four fouls. So Tarek Weiser will shoot one plus the bonus. And he makes the first. So one more to go for number three. And left that one short. One for two. Now Marquez Green gets a screen from Mosley. Gets a go around in Wonkwo. Oh, and the reach in foul called on Malcolm Stedman. Oh, no, they're going to call it on Sinead and Wonkwo, actually. Little bump in the road, but. And that will send Marquez Green to the free throw line to shoot. One plus the bonus. Davis Crilly comes into the game for Sinead and Wonko. And he misses the free throw. Weiser coming down with the rebound. Jaguars 
up the court. Weiser, and a foul called. It is called the number 24, Trey Booker-Lowry, his fifth foul of the game. And we will see no more of him tonight. See here on Malcolm Sedman. Just a little aggressive. And he misses the first. One more to go. And one for two from the line that time. Green finds Mosley. Shots up and a foul. Offensive foul. Jacob Harper, the only player on the San Jose team drawing offensive fouls. They're going to call that one on number 11, Elijah Beji. Harper to inbound it for San Jose. Less than five minutes on the clock. Harper. His pass goes out of bounds. Tipped by Marquez Green. San Jose will maintain possession. And they cross over into the Lamore side of the court and will avoid the 10 second violation. Offensive rebound. And it was Stedman who couldn't get the shot to go. Crilly gets called for the foul. So Davis Crilly, it'll be his fifth foul of the night as well. So Sams Hoy will come into the game for Davis Crilly. So two free throws for number three, Marquise Green. And he misses the first. So one more to go for number three, Marquise Green. Five points tonight for him, only one foul. Harper. And a five second violation called on the Jaguars. And now what you want right now Lamore with the ball. Mosley. Trying to go up against Julius Wilson and will draw the foul. So, Taryn Mosley will take a trip to the free throw line. Shoot two. See here on the replay, just all up on him. Two shots for number one. Four fouls tonight for him as well as he makes that one. One more free throw for Mosley and he drains it. So 12 points tonight for him. Harper. And a foul. They're going to call that one on Chavez. 
Harper trying to avoid the five second violation again. They're gonna call that one on number 10, Ryan Chavez. His first foul of the game. So every player on the court now has at least one foul. So two free throws for Tarek Weiser. And the first one is good. And misses the second. Foul called. Gets to retry the free throw. Stepped in, stepped in the key a little too early. It was number 23, James Nichols. And Weiser gets to make up for his mistake, makes the free throw, and Jacob Harper is back into the game for Julius Wilson. Mosley with the ball for the Eagles. Needing to figure something out here. Trying to climb back from a very large deficit. Chavez with the shot. No good. Tipped out. Rebounded by Stedman. Harper bringing it up for San Jose. Four minutes to go. Gets by Green. Finds Soms Hoy and a foul called on number 10. Ryan Chavez. Second foul for him. So two quick fouls for number 10, Ryan Chavez. Tom's Hoy taking a trip to the charity stripe and will shoot two. And he makes the first. So one more shot coming for number 10, Isaiah Tom's Hoy. Twelve points tonight for him, and he makes it that time. Isaiah Samsoy averaging twelve points per game, shoots fifty percent from the field goal, or yeah, field goal percentage fifty percent. Mosley to Green. Guarded by Awankwo. And a foul called. They're going to call that one on Isaiah Soms Hoy. His fourth foul. Just got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. So Marquise Green will shoot two free throws for Lamore. And the first shot is good. Chavez coming back in for Packard. And it'll be Harper to come back in for Sinead and Wonkwu. So one more shot for Marquise Green. And he makes both. And Owen Brown will come in for Isaiah Soms Hoy who will sit with four fouls. Harper finds a Paul Eugene. And a timeout by San Jose. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so we will be back in 30 seconds. Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. 
Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. Three thirty-one left to go in this game between the San Jose City Jaguars and the West Hill Lemoore Eagles. And Owen Brown will inbound it for San Jose. And he finds Stedman. Stedman gets rejected. Going the other way now. Green for three. No good. And the rebound by Mosley. He is fouled. He'll take a trip to the line to shoot two. Fans are asking for a goaltend on the other side of the court. They thought that Stedman had possibly touched the backboard. Oh, that's very close. Very close here, another replay. Milliseconds. And the shot is made by Mosley. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay San Jose possession. Harper to inbound for San Jose. Finds Brown. Back to Harper. Double team. And turned over. Chavez gets it to go. Now within a single digit lead. Another double team. Stedman finds Apollo. And he is all alone, decided not to go for the basket. Don't know what he was thinking. Brown goes up, and the finish. 11 point lead now for San Jose. Green to Chavez. Swinging it around. Nichols could not connect. Rebounded by Harper. San Jose pushing up the court. Two and a half left to go. Winner from this game will play whoever wins against Skyline and Yuba. Stedman gets called for a travel violation. So Green inbounds it, and Mosley will let the ball roll. Finds Chavez, throws up a three, no good. And the ball falls into the hands of Mosley. Three ball, it's good! Three ball from Terran Mosley in a timeout. Full timeout. So we'll take a quick break, and we will be back here on NCS TV. As you see here, Taryn Mosley throws one up himself, makes it. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. City College has the right balance of athletic and academic programs. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've seen. The friendships and connections I made here will last a lifetime. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. I love being a Jaguar. The Bay Area is our home, and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. 
Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. And back here on NorCal Sports TV, 71-63 is the score. Lamore climbing back in this one with less than two minutes to go. And it is confirmed that Yuba has beat Skyline 63-51. to So the winner of this game will go on to play Yuba next Saturday in round three of the 3C2A NorCal tournament. Apollo Eugene with the ball. Owen Brown pushing the court for San Jose. Finds Stedman. Nada Weiser. San Jose looking to hold the ball here. Does not want to give up any turnovers that could lead to points. Ten seconds. Stedman with the screen. Weiser trying to get around Green. And an offensive foul. Packard put his body on the line. And they're going to call the offensive foul on Tarek Weiser as Ryan Chavez comes into the game for Packard. So now Mosley will bring it up the court for the Eagles. Now Nichols swinging it around. Mosley to Chavez for three. No good. Come up short. Now Brown. Stedman. And he is fouled. They're going to call that foul on Marquise Green. You see here, Owen Brown pushing the floor, finds Stedman, and just met by Marquez Green. They're gonna actually gonna call it on number five, Marquez Green, on number three, Marquise Green. So Malcolm Stedman shooting two for San Jose. One minute on the dot left in this game. Stedman makes the first one. Up by nine. As Owen Brown will take a seat, Jerry and Sparks will come back out onto the court. Stedman gets the bucket to go. Ten points. One minute, 60 seconds on the clock is what Lamore has left in their season. Down by ten. Mosley. For three. No good. Rebounded by Stedman. And a foul called on Elijah Beji. And the third foul called on him. So Stedman taking a trip to the free throw line once again to extend the lead here. And he misses the first. One more to go for him. Oh. 
And over to that time, offensive rebound by Soms Hoy. And a foul called. You can see here on the replay, Green just driving down the lane and Soms Hoy with the rejection, but they call a foul. And that's his fifth foul, so he will take a seat for the rest of the game, the rest of the 37 seconds. Two shots coming for Marquise Green. Mi makes the first. As Packard comes back into the game. Second free throw for Green. And he misses it. And the putback is a go. Brown finds Weiser, double teamed, gets it to Brown, and Stedman gets it to go, count it, and one, does some push-ups for the little celebration. Just the kind of night San Jose's been having. So a trip to the free throw line for Stedman. And he laces it. Julius Wilson coming into the game for Tarek Weiser. Green goes up and he gets it. Count it. So the foul is called on Jury and Sparks. It's going to be his first foul of the game. And he makes it. Brown, foul, no, timeout. It's gonna be a timeout by San Jose, full timeout. So 22 seconds left on the clock. We will take a quick break on NCS TV. Be right back. to a successful future. And they're all in one spot at San Jose City College. Pick yours to get your degree and transfer in just two years. I've got my spot and now I'm getting jaggy with it. Plus, there are ways to do it with no tuition or fees. A lot of ways. And San Jose City College can help you find them. Get on your path. Unleash your brilliance and discover your spot at San Jose City College. And back here with 22 seconds left on NorCal Sports TV. Jaguars up 76 to 69 over the Lamore Eagles. 
Owen Brown to inbound. And throws the ball out of bounds. Turnover. Eagles will get the ball on the San Jose side of the court. Looking to make something happen here. Chavez. Defense. Chance all throughout the arena here at the Percy Carr Gymnasium. As it's time for the Jaguars to buckle in on defense. Lamore. Mosley drives up and he gets the bucket. Count it. Send him to the free throw line. Attempt the three point play. See here, Mosley was not letting anybody get in his way. So Brown and Harper back in the game for in Wonkwu and Calhoun. And he makes it. Inching closer. And a timeout by San Jose. They need to get out of their own end of the court. Eagles are swallowing them up. And it's a full timeout here on NCS TV. 13 seconds. We'll be right back. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path one shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. All right, back on NCF TV. If you have been tuned in from the start, you have seen that this game has been kind of a whirlwind. It was close in the beginning. Now it is close in the end. There was a kind of kind of a gap in between where San Jose was up by 15, but West Hills battling back. Stedman with the ball, swallowed up, and he is fouled. Ten seconds. So another trip to the free throw line for San Jose. They're going to call that foul on Marquise Green. So Malcolm Stedman taking a trip to the free throw line. And he makes the first. Extending the game or sending the lead to five. One more shot coming up for Malcolm Stedman. 21 points tonight. Leading scorer. And he knocks both of them down. Give him 22. Up by six. Ten seconds to go. 
Lamar looking for a prayer. Chavez to Green. Drives in. No foul. Calhoun with the rebound. And they throw the ball in the air. And that's going to do it. San Jose pulling off the win in this one over West Hills Lemoore. 78 to 72. And they will advance to the third round of the 3C 2A NorCal tournament. And they will take on Yuba College next Saturday. What a game between the two. Leading scorer tonight amongst all amongst both teams. Malcolm Stedman with 22 points. And the game was close at the beginning and at the end, but San Jose able to pull off the win. So they will advance to the next round and play Yuba who beat Skyline for a chance to have a trip to the state finals. And around the league, and around the league, we have other scores. West Valley will be taking on Sacramento City in the next round. And Cabrillo will go on to face whoever wins from San Francisco City and Gavilan. They are currently in halftime right now. Gavilan, I believe, was down in that one over San Francisco. And College of the Redwoods will be taking on College of the Sequoias in the next round of the 3C2A men's tournament. Jaguars, what a game it has been. Both teams, Lamore, you know, having to win one game in order to get to this one. Heck of a battle for them. And that's going to do it here on NCS TV. We will see you next time here on the broadcast.